Hey guys, it is MJ from Endless RV. We're here at the 2021 Tampa RV Show. And in today's video, we are gonna talk about the reasons why somebody would get a Class B RV, why they would not get a Class B RV, and ultimately what our opinion is on Class B RVs. So why are these so popular with RVers? So we're gonna list several pros. Number one, they're easy to drive. Now the one behind us, which is a American Coach Patriot is actually a little bit bigger, but compared to like our motorhome, it's, it's a baby. These can fit anywhere, supermarket parking lot. They don't have a really high clearance, so it's not really an issue going down some roadways with clearance. They fit anywhere. Being that they're so compact, if you like traveling to national parks, RV and natural parks, or many state parks, this is perfect. Many national parks have a limit on the size of RV you can bring in. This is not gonna reach the limit. You're gonna be good to go. The next thing is gonna be unibody chassis. Now these come on different chassis. The Mercedes Sprinter is a really popular one. They're also coming on Ram and the Ford Transit chassis. So what does unibody mean? It means that it's a whole one piece shell, right? It's a, it's a regular van that you would buy if you're just gonna buy a van. So unlike most traditional RVs where you have a chassis and then a box on top, this is all one unit. It's gonna make it ride better down the road, it's gonna handle better, and it's gonna be safer for you also. These are great for tailgating, and you're probably not gonna have to pay that big giant oversized parking fee when you're tailgating. These are perfect. You have little kitchens in them, bathrooms, they do the job. What else is great about these? They get good gas mileage. Now this is really, take this with a grain of salt. Now on our motorhome, we get about seven to eight miles per gallon on a good day. These guys, they'll get behind us, you know, 15, 20 miles per gallon, depending how big you have how big your unit is and what's, you know, load you're carrying, you can get that also. Now, theoretically, these should be able to be serviced at your dealerships. Now, we have read some people saying that dealerships, and I'm talking about chassis dealerships, like if you buy Mercedes, Mercedes-Benz dealerships, that some won't service it. But these are definitely smaller. You're gonna have less of a hard time getting into service bays when you have something of this size. Class Bs are popular with minimalists. Sometimes less is more. Also, they're very popular in putting solar packages. Now, it doesn't take a lot of power to power these things because it's not a lot. You don't need a big battery bank. Some of them have generators. The one that we're gonna show you does have a 2,500 watt generator on it. But solar and uh, lithium batteries are very popular. Finally, sometimes people don't think about this, is storing these units. This can fit in a big garage definitely could fit in most people's driveways. Now, we are fortunate enough to have a home that's big enough to fit our 37-foot motorhome is, but if we lived in an inner city or somewhere where we just didn't have that kind of space, this may be something that would be a possibility because we could actually fit it right into where we would live. And as you can see, they're cleaning all the RVs. The actual show starts tomorrow. And don't worry about the mask. There is nobody within probably 18 feet of us, so we're safe. All right, so now why wouldn't someone get these? And let's you know talk a little bit about the cons. Number one, I think for many people is cost. For us, we could not justify the cost of getting something like this. And you'll see the, the MSRP on this one is 182. 615. Now, that was the MSRP on our 37 it was foot actually less. Class A. Yes, yeah, it was a little less than that. So for us, you know, we'd like the space, as you know, so definitely cost. Many of these Class Bs are pretty hefty in the price area. A lot of they're on the, these Mercedes chassis and things, but for us, we just couldn't justify that. Now, you could offset your cost if you're into building your own van mm -hmm. if you're that handy you certainly yeah. could do that and if you didn't go on a mercedes like mj said if you're going to ram or mm -hmm. a ford it, it will be less Lusty. but they're still pretty pricey mm -hmm. number two a lot of people like space and as you know class b's don't provide a lot of space for people that do like to spread their wings again for minimalists and people that less is more it's perfect for them but for us and people that do like the bigger rvs definitely space is high on the list of a con and next is lack of storage. So on this one, on this American coach behind us, it's the Patriot, there's no external storage. Now again, when you're in one of these, you're probably carrying less anyway, but still, that is a huge thing. Again, for people like us, we need room. We're not fitting our total gym in a, in a class B.
Next one is lack of kitchen space. Now this one is a, is a little bigger than some we've seen and I'm sure there's plenty of different models in floor pans. And real, a quick aside, going back to a lack of space, I whacked my head twice and Izzy just hit his. So if you saw the camera jump, that's why. Anyway, so you have, you know, you have a little sink here. Again, it's everything that you need, but it is small. You have a one burner cooktop there. And then you have a convection microwave right to the left and then a small fridge and freezer. So you have everything you need, but again, with our way of living and we, we cook a lot and that kind of stuff. So this for us and for a lot of others would be a little too small for their taste. Next one is your bathroom. So these have wet baths, which I'm not a fan of. I barely fit in there. And there's no way Izzy's gonna be able to take a shower in there without showering like you know, Will Ferrell and the Elf. So that's not gonna happen. It's functional, it does what it's supposed to do, but again, it's just not something that we really care for. Okay, another big thing is a lack of generator. Now the one we are on does have a generator. Again, a lot of these are solar, so they don't have a generator, but just keep that in mind. Another thing, another con, just because of the size of this, holding tanks, you don't have big holding tanks. So just understand you're gonna really have to stretch out your water usage if you're not hooked up to city water. This is set up really for one or two people's pushing it. If you are a family, if you have pets, oh, this is gonna be rough. At least for me, this is gonna be a, a really hard time having to handle that many things going on at one time in here. <laughs> you can't handle it on all. No. <laughs> Another con, limited floor plans. There's only so much you can do with this space. Now this is actually one of the bigger bees. A lot of them are smaller than this. You got two seats up front, almost never gonna have a dedicated bedroom. It's gonna be like multifunctional. So it's gonna be like a couch in the back or a recliner that's gonna turn into a bed. So these are things that you're gonna have to be doing constantly if you're on something like this. And something else to think about too, if you're not towing a vehicle, if this is your vehicle and you are set up and you want to head out, remember to remember you're gonna have to break down and set up each time you do that. Again, it's not a ton of time, but it's just something to keep in mind if you do not have that tow vehicle. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you could see um, we are not very wide and this is crazy. It's cozy. So anyway, in the comments below, let us know if you have a class B, why you have it. Here's our final verdict. Are we ever getting a class B? No. Never say never, but B plus high maybe. likely, highly likely not. Yeah, I mean, listen, we, we're relatively young. We're flexible, limber. I don't see how people that are larger or have some kind of uh, injury that, you know, mobility issues, how, how you it even get in and out of this. It might be but let us know. We're really curious about this. You know, we kind of gave you the facts and the info, but if you have one, let us know your thoughts. Imagine us with the dogs in here. This oh would be insane. Oh my God, two pit bulls. This would be insane. Anyway, we thank you guys for watching us and we will see, see you, you on, on the, the road. road.